Hi guys, so let's now take a look at depreciation. This is really relevant when it comes to both the statement, the financial position, as well as the income statement. So you need to be aware of this theme and we'll look at the way in which this is calculated in the next couple of lessons, okay? So depreciation is the reduction in the value of a non-current asset, okay? As we've said, it tends to be machinery or vehicles as the uh, primary examples there, and this will take place over a period of time. So what then happens is that the uh, business needs to determine at what rate they will wish to uh, depreciate the value of those assets, okay? So when it comes to the statement of, fin uh, of uh, financial position or our balance sheet, what we will see as a direct consequence is when it comes to those non-current assets, okay? Uh, those uh, longer term fixed assets, the machinery, the vehicles, they will be depreciated over time. And as such, uh, machinery and vehicles will depreciate in value and that means that you will expect to see lower values in future periods, assuming no more vehicles or machinery have been purchased by the business. Okay, so the depreciation will uh, simply reduce the value of those non-current assets. Okay, now, the way in which this is conducted though, is via the income statement, okay? So here, the depreciation of that asset will actually be reflected as an expense by the business, okay? So it will be reflected on the income statement as an expense, okay? So, uh, or the statement of financial income, and it will show as an expense or an indirect cost of actually trading in a particular line of business, okay? So depreciation will have a direct impact on the value of non-current assets, but that level of depreciation will show up on our statement of financial income or income statement profit and loss account, okay? Uh, and it will simply depreciate the value. So let's say you depreciate the value of a car by 4,000 pounds in a given period, okay? Then that 4,000 pounds will show up as an expense, okay? Really, that expense is a provision for the future and the fact that one day you will uh, have to actually replace that vehicle, of course, as it wears out, okay, and as it no longer can serve its productive use. All right, super stuff, guys, thank you.